Girish Mathrabutham started small. That didn't last long. Four days after launching Freshworks, his customer service platform in October 2010 from an air conditioning duct warehouse in Chennai, a metropolis in the south of India, and staffed with a team of six rockstar programmers, his startup was instantly international. Atwell College, a public high school in Perth, Australia, nearly 4,000 miles away, spent a couple of hours poking around the platform Mathrabutham envisioned as an empowering customer experience, and signed on as the first Freshworks customer. Within 200 days, and no outside funding, Freshworks had 200 small and medium business customers spread across the globe. Venture capital firms such as Excel, Tiger Global and Sequoia Capital caught wind of the startup's steep trajectory and in 2018, Freshworks raised $100 million in Series G funding, hitting a $1.5 billion valuation and becoming India's first enterprise tech unicorn. Now, in a week packed with public offerings, the Freshbook IPO is the most hotly anticipated, having raised $1.03 billion and joining Nasdaq on Wednesday with a $10.13 billion valuation. The company has priced 28.5 million shares at $36 per share. If you asked me, did we know that we are going to go public in the U.S., or we will become this successful, I would have said absolutely no, Math Rabutham, 46, tells Forbes. Now headquartered in San Mateo, California, Freshworks serves 50, 000 customers in 120 countries. Its expanded offerings explain excitement around its IPO. Along with turnkey customer service software, the four-time list maker on the Forbes Cloud 100 offers a full suite of enterprise tech software tools supporting sales, productivity, marketing, human resources and IT. Our mission is very clear, Math Rabutham says. We want to make it fast and easy for every business to delight their customers and their employees. As Freshworks centers what the company estimates as a $120 million market, it faces heavyweight competition.